Welcome back to the back nine here for the Mic'd Up Practice Round. I am Jeremy Colling. This is our guest today, Matt Oram. And of course, as always, Paul Uliberry. Burlington, Kentucky. We got a wet and rainy round. It's muggy. Tee pads are slick. The course is tight. This reminds me of a place called Kentucky. Yeah. Reminds me of a place called Louisiana. Yeah, reminds me of a place called... Uh, I'm kicking your butts. Yeah, Paul's <laughs> kicking our butts. That's, yeah. Paul is at four under. I'm at one under. Matty is at one up. We're doing a 2020 twin, as we call it. $20 for the front nine, best score, which goes to Paul. Cha-ching! $20 for the back nine, which goes to me. Cha-ching! And then $40 overall, which is somehow mathematically doesn't make any sense. This is going to go to Matty O. Uh, so, or did I say 40? I meant to say 20. But... This course gets very tight in the back nine as if it weren't on the front nine, so let's get right into it. Boom. Yeah, you can throw, you can dance my dog. Hole 10, par 3, 368 feet, but it's 30 feet up. This is a very tough birdie to get to start this back nine. Players are going to probably throw the backhand fairway drivers, maybe even a flippy distance driver to get that thing to flip up and fly straight. Try to avoid those trees that are about 45 feet short of the green. And if you can get a two in this hole, you are feeling really good about yourself. More crinkles, Kev, or are you, just, are you done? That was rumbly. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, forward kick. I take forward kick. Okie dokie. All right, second half. Hey, that's right. <laughs> non stop. <laughs> what did coach say at halftime? He said, better, better hope y'all are like Georgia football so I can come back, man. That's what I'm pretending like. Yeah, all right. 28-3. Hot watch in the paint 28-3. Nobody knows these things besides you, Maddie. <laughs> you could say any number you want, and I'd believe it. You don't know what 28.3 is? I'm sure people in the comments do. It's a score. 28.3, let's go! Oh my gosh. That was laced. Oh my god. I nice shot, buddy. 28.3 was the Super Bowl with the New England. Oh, and, and no, Falcons. 28.3, dude. All right, I, I, I don't have much nostalgia from that. I was I on a flight from New Zealand back to America during that flight. So I missed that entire game. I thought you said Georgia Bulldogs. I didn't hear you say. Yeah, I mean, I was skip. same thing, you know. Oh, Did you say what? Georgia Bulldogs? Yeah, that's. Well, so now you now you know why you threw me off. It was the Falcons, not the Bulldogs. I was double dipping, dude. What do you mean? Jerem, give me the top three tips for playing in the wet. Ooh. Top three tips. How about all three of us give one one of our best tips for playing in the rain? Okay. Um. Number one, number one tip for playing in the rain, for me is. Slow it down. What you got, Matt? Uh, my biggest tip in the rain is one climbo taught me. Is to, uh, keep that towel right there so it's dry. So you can always have a dry towel for your yeah. shirt. Um, Two, I like to, uh, I'm the opposite. I actually prefer to slowly, like, take your time drying your towel. But when I get on the tee box, I like to just oh. grip it and rip it. Because I feel like the yeah. more chances of rain drops on my disc, the more chance I'm going to shake it. So I just rely on just instincts whenever it's raining i think the... I meant, yeah i guess i meant like slow down your footwork but yeah but yeah i mean we, i think we all speed up our throw like we're going on instinct on our throws so that part is not really a tip because one raindrop and then it's over Correct. the most important thing the most important thing is keep your damn hand dry at all costs yeah at all costs don't as mark your line as soon as the gets mm -hmm. wet and moist and you get the Plan. little prunies you're done Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Especially when you got baby skin hands like me, man. Those things go in like five <laughs> minutes, man. Barry Schultz told me that one actually. He, he, I was, I was wondering why he uh, marked his live most of the time, but then not other times. And I didn't realize it's because like the morning dew, be wet. He didn't want to get his hand wet. Like that dude had so many years of experience. It's like, oh yeah, anything he says is church. That's like when it rains or it's, uh, it's like super humidity. Johnny McRae taught me to like put like powder right here so it keeps your sweat from running down so if you like yeah, powder your wrist like right here it keeps dude. the sweat from dripping yeah. down i use that one a lot too all right 
I don't do this very often, but can I? Even make yes, that? you do. Anybody who's ever said that. I mean, that, come on. You're, I thought you were no, from I North don't, Carolina, I, dude. I mean, the sidearm putt's not, I hate going for it. I, like, it's not my thing. Huh. I don't say I hate, but it's not, I, I've made one of these in my career. Literally. Guy. One sidearm putt in my career I've made. I don't believe That's definitely it. a false call. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I've thrown them in, but not like an actual putt. Like, this is a putt. Are you trying to make us feel sorry for you or something, dude? No. I no. I'm trying to make myself feel I sorry for myself. I know you're lying. Myself. Okay. I'm not lying. Just do oh that. <laughs> nice, Ron. That's about as good as it gets for me. Can you throw me that dry putter. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I did think I I did thought I made it. I did <laughs> thought. I did think. I did think I was making it. I was going to thought made. It. Should have done that. 28 3. <laughs> 28 3. Come on. The gunslinger. Yeah. Oh, I got a little ramp. Oh, I do. I do. Did you just burp in my face again? You're gross. Great bird, dude. Thank you. Second half. I'm back to even. Nice. Good grind. Grinder. I'm coming to you. <laughs> You'll catch up to him no, sooner or later. Whoa! Slick, 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 slick. Hole 11, par 3, 242 feet. 242, which is part of my phone number, in case you were wondering. You can guess the other four. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, give me a call. Uh, this is the Instagram hole. If you get to this hole, everybody tries to ace it. A nice backstop behind it. Hit the gap, get rewarded. Don't. Probably get a par. <laughs> that was quick. That was good. Honey? <laughs> Honey? Right. Hey, you gotta touch. Hey. Yeah, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta touch. That used to be mine. For real? Yeah. Nate still had the language lesson on that. Yeah. Uh, Julian. Uh, Texas. I'll have to think of his name. Okay. Hold up. He's my guy. Did I just call him Julian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that a name? <laughs> <laughs> Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag who's Julian? <laughs> All right. I really want to know his real name. What is his name? Is he saying Julian or yeah. Hooligan? <laughs> Julian. <laughs> I just made it. I made it up. In five years, there's going to be a kid named Julian. He's going to be a stud. <laughs> hundred bucks. And I'm going to pull his name up, and we're going to compare and contrast, <laughs> his, too. His name's like Steven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smooth. It ain't gonna hyzer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Paul knows that. Hey, two for two. Hey, Let's I'm go. in the red figures, baby. Let's go. Hooyan. <laughs> Hooyan. This isn't the disc to ace. Why am I throwing it? Get a bird. Yeah. I, really, I mean, it's like I'd have to really launch this thing at that ceiling. All right. Let's see what we've got. You did it. No, he didn't. Short. Look great. I know. <laughs> That's great. I thought I was at least going to hit that box. I think it's just All right, so I'm slow. going heat. <laughs> oh, he's going for the ace. <laughs> Love it. Oh, you got to get it up, bro. All right. Throw, throw your golf shot. <laughs> I like that for you, man. You're so good at the hyzer flips. People don't talk much about your sidearm. Usually most people are talking about it being bottom tier. I'm the tier. only one that talks about my sidearm. Oh, what's that? I said I'm the only person that talks about my <laughs> sidearm. <laughs> Truth be told, Paul's, Paul's under 280 game. It's one of the best. 
yeah, I don't, not many people have done it longer for, with more consistent results. I certainly haven't done it longer. Or with the consistent yeah. results. Woo! Flick. Don't you pronounce Julian just Julian? Is there been such thing as Julian? There's no way that's even close to his name. I know that. Yeah, his, I think his last name's Morales. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I well. can see a I can see a Julian Morales. That's a shout out to all our Julian Morales is watching right now. That was a good pace. Is. You can tell with his eyes. He That's the Paul Ulibarri June, early July form. You got me, Matteo? Thank you. Here at Idlewild Disc Golf Course, hole 12, par four, 644 feet. There's two plays this hole. You can throw backhand putter to the corner to play it smart, to not play the bend at all. Or you can go sidearm aggressive around the bend, kind of still kind of like a not consistent landing zone. So when you get aggressive, you really rely on hoping that your disc lands in a good spot to get a shorter up shot. The second shot goes over a hill to the left, kind of real, real blind and real touchy up shot. This one requires two really good shots to get a birdie. Par would be a really good score on this hole all three rounds as well, I believe. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Everybody on my card was throwing the sidearm early route, and I was like, why are y'all doing that? And I get up there, and they're like all in the perfect spot, and I tried it. And yeah, I, me too. I didn't. It did not work for me. I'm going to try to follow the road. Follow Yellowbrook Road. I feel like that's the way. That is the way to Saban's heart. Have you met Saban? Uh-uh. I would love <gasps> to, though. I want to cry. Yeah. That's the whole reason I want to win a world title, man, because I know if I win that world title, it's a guaranteed Saban handshake. White House and Nick Saban. <laughs> yep. We should go to the White House if we win world championships. Oh, that's... Uh... So if you're wondering why my world's resume is so good, maybe it's just Nick Saban. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Is that going to be too far right? Oh, that's plush. That's plushy plush? Plush, plush. Right. Like STP plush. <laughs> Nobody thinks like you, throws like you, or looks like you, man. You are a unique human being. I love you for that. Roll Tide. I'll point it out one. And you have to throw off the tee like that. That's plush, too. Maybe too far left. Gosh, if that's too far left, that's, that's annoying. Pushing the inside right corner and still being too far left. Ooh. Oh, missed that. <gasps> the no. witch's finger. He caught the witch's finger. <laughs> it is just like, Damn. it is casting spells. Yeah, dude. Away. It's kind of a witchy day. <laughs> it is. A witchy I, day, he says. I'm down for some witchcraft right now. I, I mean, I don't know what that means. That's weird. It's very weird strange to say. to say that. You got a tight little flip up. I know, but I like uh, you. You do. Are you going to do that? Yeah, might as well. You're going to poke the this line? This is like disc golf heaven shot right here, man. Yeah, this is like if you make this shot, you're... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to go to the pearly gates of, you know... <laughs> disc golfness? Yeah. yeah. You might want to wait for that catch can to catch yeah. that beautiful flight that you're about to throw. Who meets you at I'm the pearly gates of this. disc golf heaven? Who's, who's Low... Who meets you at the pearly gates? Steady Ed. Good old Stan. Yeah, that's, that's like the one icon that passed away before I got to meet him. Okay. This is tough. In the, in the disc golf world. Am I going to slip? Yes. No. Oh my gosh. Tiger Woods. That's too far. Oh my god. That, he's out thrown. I don't know. I think it's fine. It's a jump putt. You're going to you're going to literally Say bad things about my shot, dude. Just now? That was, oh, I was I was just about to say I was parked, but then I was correcting myself. Yeah, I wasn't correcting deep. your Maybe. shot. Maybe it might not be. You don't know. Nobody's ever thrown this far back before. Right there, if you, if you are in deep. circle one, I I Mine's will just. not looking too pretty. I can't be. Yeah, that's deep. I'll kill you so you can meet Steady Ed right away. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're a good dude, man. Good old. You know what I would say to Steady? What would you say? 
You, did you like ever get to meet him? No, I didn't. Yeah. Act like you're him. That was like the Holy Spirit. Hello, Paul. I invented what you do for a living. Thank you. And then I'd probably cry or something. Yeah. Not a real emotional guy, but I'm guessing. Look at that skip. God, <laughs> dog. You were right. You are plush. Plush. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> plush you lean the, backwards yeah. and it just holds you right up. <laughs> It could be good. Probably shorty pants though. Yeah, a little shorty pants. What are you gonna do, Matt? Oh my! I tell you what, man. You don't see many people throw the little mid-range forehand rollers, but they are so money. They just hold that line straighter. If we're doing advice, we're doing this is a little advice day, I think. The forehand rollers of the drivers. Nothing wrong with it. If you're laying down the angle right, right stability it's going to give you a good result. But the problem is with the driver is that the stability is a little bit more. Um, I was so just caught in a daydream. Holy cow. Yeah? Are you back? Yeah. I was like, but I could hear you. But yeah, I was not, I, I know what you're yeah. talking about. All right. Anyway. The, uh, the mistakes with a driver with a flick roller are so much greater. That's a if rough you throw spot. too much Jeez. cut, you're going to cut out immediately, and you're trying you to go straight. Gap. Land it vertical, you're going to go straight for a really long way. But with a mid-range, that, that uh, variance of air is much smaller. If you land where I am, it's a good spot. 10-4. I mean, I don't mind landing here because it's a pretty simple forehand roller to give me, I mean, at least butt, uh, putting position. That's a good out. Look at that thing. First down, baby! Oh my gosh, it's gonna roll left too now, watch this. Slow motion for you. Slow <laughs> motion for me. Slow oh, no. motion for me. Oh, slow slow motion for me. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I like it like that. She works that fat. I know how to act slow. <laughs> this is not practice round behavior. This is this is vintage Matteo in tournament play. Like there's no difference. Yes. He doesn't turn I that think off. That the it's not like a different he loves Matteo. The game. Yeah, he just loves being on tour. And watching this fly perfectly down the middle of the fairway. I hope I hit the backside trees. <laughs> Still gives me hey, Matt. faith. Still keeps me hope right there. Do you have any idea how many wins you have in your career? Is there like a way to track your Southern National stats? Yeah, there actually is. I'll, I'll have to get on that tonight. What would, what would your prediction be? You have 100 in both? I think I got, I think 69, I got 68 in PDGA. I'm going to say 160 in the Southern Nationals. Wow. I mean, there's I'm really say, no that's difference. Be my there's guess. so much skill in the Southern Nationals. Because I remember Nationals. I hit 100 like 2007, 8. Uh, if this dude has 200 career wins, that is just, that is insane. That is dude, insane. That almost 250 wins. I mean, but I believe it. He freaking smacks people up. Shout out to uh, Brian Schweberger. Nice bar, dude. And Thank you, man. And Elaine King, who are both in the 300 PDJ I have my club. ignorance, but like, what are Southern Nationals? Southern Nationals is an organization for the, it's the, it's for the people. It's for the players. Uh, we, uh, my dad started it in 1996. And uh, two dollars from everybody's entry fee goes to the Southern National Championship, so we can build our own champion purse, you know. So it gives back to the players for a championship battle, you know. And uh, it actually needs it's on some uh, a timeout right now because uh, COVID last year, and it needs to find a championship. But look, uh, I'm gonna talk to Kevin McCoy about trying to bring it back, and we'll see how uh, see how it goes. Short. Gosh, darn it. Yeah. No, nope, that's not going in here. Yeah. Height was right Sorry there. I needed that. So I needed that. I can't believe this. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're on hole 13 now. Quick score update. Paul Ulibarri is at four under par. I am at two under par. Matteo is right there in the mix at one down. We have a 472 foot par four. The play is to get through the Y gap, over the ditch, 
If you can get around the corner to the left, you might set yourself up for the long eagle putt. If not, getting a par in this hole feels like a true birdie because this is a very scary hole. If you do go out of bounds, you will go to the drop zone where four cannot be saved. So you must get through the gap and remain safe. 28-3. 28-3. He's gonna keep saying that. Right? Score's gotta be different by now. Beat it, Matt. Ooh. What would the score be at this point in the in the half? Like we're past halftime, so like, what's the score now? Right now, like it's like about seven minutes left in the third quarter here. Yeah. Um, Georgia, twenty-three. Alabama, sixteen. No one calls them the Georgia Falcons. Why do you keep saying Georgia? Georgia Bulldogs. But are you? I'm just, I'm just dogging all Atlanta fans right now, man. That's it. <laughs> you go sidey whitey. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh huh. I get it. I thought about the heat through there. Yeah. Eight flip, park it. The heat. No, I'm not even thinking about parking. I'm just thinking about getting through the gap and staying safe. No. Like this. Oh. No, he didn't. Shot, dude. Great, great. Ooh. Oh, yum, yum, yummy. Is that too deep? Or Don't hit it. Money? <laughs> oh. Damn it. Sweet shot, brah. Brah. Freaking clunky donkey. Didn't they call this a par three? Yeah. The they changed the sign. What is it now? It says four on the sign. This bridge. It's are they, nice. Are they trying to get this thing done before the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> like what? What is going Damn. on there? Damn! What did I hit? There's. You might need to put a little. Oh, there's there. so many. <laughs> Carpet or something on that but bridge. I felt like I was early enough to be something. Nice. But if I hit one of those, then I still got a jumper. Matteo, wow, lucky ducky. I didn't know it. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I used to hate being called lucky, but the older I get, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. did you see it hit that tree and still go forward? <laughs> I can't believe it. Some guys have all the luck. Some guys have all the fame. What you gonna do, Matteo? I don't know, let me. Still thinking? Let me call uh, my offensive coordinator real Are quick. Are you gonna phone a friend? I didn't hit anything, I just hit that stuff. What's up, man? Cool. Sitting here about, I don't know, this is about second and 15. <laughs> Noise. Slant down the middle. Jeremy, where'd you get to? Gotcha, thank you. He's phoning a friend to, to play call right now, his offensive coordinator. <laughs> it's second and 15, he's gonna do a slant down the middle. Wow. Oh, sit. Oh my Save. gosh. Slant down the middle. I'm going to try to throw this in. Go in. Never made one in my life. <laughs> no, that's different. That's a throw. That's so different. I feel like that's different. the same. No, I'm talking like you're Hello. in the circle. You're trying to do a touchy little putter. Gotcha. That's what I've only, I've made throw-ins. I mean, of course I've made them, but ne never a putt. Well, well not, not on never, the first one, one time. You always make the second one, though. I played, I played with Ken Franks at Rosedale in okay. Kansas City on hole 18, and I made a little flick turnover putt from deep in the bushes, and I told Ken Franks, I said, that's the first one I've ever made in my life. And just like you and Yuli, he would not <clears> believe me. <throat> Shout out to Tank. Tank, Frank the Tank. At those old KC 11 times, you know what he wrote on the top? The cream always rises. The cream always rises. I still oh, you gotta get it two. up. It's so hard. Sweet tea. That's not true. I've drank from I've drank from the chalice. Nadio brought it. 28-3, baby. Let's go. Brought it on the back nine. Let's see. Let's go, baby. With a double kick from the gods. Oh, it's coming. Sick putt, dude. Whoop. You save that bird? Save that bird. Nice, dude. 
Catch two. Okay. Does that matter or is that you? you win. Hole 14, par four, 556 feet, straight downhill. If you don't have a sidearm, pack a lunch because this is going to take you a while to finish. If you do hit this initial gap, which is tiny, bend down to the landing zone. You'll have a fairly easy shot into kind of an island green. If you don't, I don't want to tell you. you but Whatever his drinks say that he makes good, I've had germs drinks. No, garbage. look, I made, I made him one drink one time, and I, 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 I literally, like, it's the worst drink I've ever tasted. I put a essential <laughs> oil in it. Essential. And I did. I, <laughs> but what I messed up is I put, like, a drop and not, like, a toothpick. You're supposed to take a toothpick of, of like, I was, I was making him a, a mule, actually. Yeah. It was bad. I mean, I... I he's like, you're going to have the best drink. But, he's, but I've he made him other drink. Like he's going to throw me under the bus, but he's going to pretend like I didn't make him the best margarita he's ever had in his life. Like... Oh, Maddie, Maddie oh. on fire right now. Love it. 28-3. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> that, that score has not moved, and that's not – you're running out of time. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Not sorry. Wow. Good shot. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Let's go. Pretend like it's under 300 feet. 35-3. Oh, the leader. I didn't even try the insider out. Damn it. Man, when you have, when you prepare a, a food or a drink for a Paul Eulaberry, you better make sure it's right because your reputation is big time on the line. Bro, you just told me up. you put essential oils in my drink on camera and you want, and you're like, essential oils? What, I, you put like look, patchouli in that thing or something? Look, I'm a, oh, God, look no. I didn't even, yeah, we got a bunch of people anti. What's essential oil? I'm from Alabama. Oils. We don't look, know what essential oil means. If you take a little tiny essential oil of mint, I think it was, yeah, it was spearmint that I was going to put in. So with, it is like patchouli. No, it's not like patchouli. That, no, that's, that's ignorant. Ah, oh, the witchcraft. That's sure. called commitment. What do you think, Maddie? Should I go for the inside? Park job? Yes. Or lay up, make the putt like you did. Hey, Mr. Kiffin. Matt Orm here. Paul's in a weird spot here. He's looking at like second and 30 here. No, second and 26. Two into Devontae Smith. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Inside line. Because you got the OB up there with the little kind of island. I got gotcha. you. Watch out for the rough. Yeah, nice shot. Mr. Kiffin. Oh, Richard Sherman at the end, but pretty good See, otherwise. See, everybody says Mr. Kiffin don't know what he's doing. They're just haters. Did I nail another tree? At the end. I got a putt, though. He stepped on the sideline as he was walking into the end zone. Dude, so gonna they're going to hate me goal. after this, dude. Nice. Nice shot. Thank you. Shot. With the shot, boy. And again, let me guess. Nice job, guys. Real man, baby. What? Huh? Who? You're fishy, fishy, fishy. Huh. State record? You think this would be the state record for longest putt? Just kidding. <laughs> Today. Today. State record? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give Dutch Napier a shout out. I, I, I think Dutch Napier might have the a putting. He's state definitely got the longest sure flying here. Dutchman. Yes. You've never seen a, a jump turbo putt in your life until Vegas you saw a flying says Dutchman. It's probably Dutch. Yeah, and he's a great putter. I remember yeah, looking at U Disc one year, <coughs> at, huh? well, right when U Disc started, Vibram Open or is this Maple OBD Hill or. You remember when he shot like a 50 at Maple Hill? He had an ace, yeah. 150 foot throw in, 
60 foot putt, 80 foot putt, all in one round. Yeah. Is this OB? I don't know. I don't think so. It's not connected that way. I'm not going to tap out. Looks like this line just continues down the creek, Paul. All right, who cares? Good putt. Kevin. Noise. Thanks. Noise, noise. Boom. <laughs> Yeah. All 15 here at Idlewild Disc Golf Course, 487 par 4, uphill all the way with a late little turn. The secret to this one is to just to get through the tunnel up and stay in the fairway. It's a lot more uphill than you think from the camera angle probably, I would believe. This one is uh, very tough to get a birdie on because it requires such a long tee shot to get up there. So I think sidearm is a little smarter on this because you get a little bigger gap here on the left side or right side of the tee box, which I highly recommend, and just keep it in the middle. No, nope. uh, overall. Overall. Three, overall. Three down. Uh, All right. Really? Yeah. Down, four down, five down? I don't know what I'm at. Six down. No, he's not. He Walk home. home. No, he yeah. was not. Yeah, I'll be okay. He had me by two. Look at that shot. Oh, no! Yeah, I was pretty oh, sure. Yeah, nice. He had me by two. So, so I'll go. Uh, oh my. Yeah, but I had a bogey on the back. Gorgeous. Stay. Middle. Nice shot, dude. Thank that you. Little kick was kind of bad. Yeah, I know. Every single Is inch this good to the right. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not as bad as some in the front. Flip, 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 kick right. Yeah, yeah. It's on the, oh, wow. What? Oh, yeah. my. Oh, I'm sick right nice, now. Nice, nice. <laughs> Sit. Go. Sit. Perfect. Did you see this? That's fine. How far are we? About that far? A little yeah. bit farther? Nice, Jim. Perfect. Sweet. Perfecto mania. Adio, been scrambling a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to do two. I'm going to show you a shot I've been working on this year. Second. The back nine's been more fun than the front nine for me. I bet. So, 27 was the number last show year. You one more. Right. Oh, what you got? Shot I've been working on this year. Last year, we, 27 under one, which was like on the nose, I think, what we were predicting was going to win. This year, with the conditions maybe being a little muggy, you think the score stays about the same? Or with the tee pads being slick, that maybe it throws off a shot or two. I'm gonna say 30 under this year. You're gonna say even, even lower. Yeah. People have just been so good this year. Yeah. I'm gonna put my number. I'll say 30 on the dot. I'm gonna go 26. I'm gonna, I'm gonna account for this slick tees as causing at least a couple of mistakes. Okay. We, to give you, give you rep, last year 27 one. Yuli said 30. I just said 26 to account for the slick tees. Well, I can't say 30. I'll say you're going lower as well, you think? All right. Notre Dame is here. I'm going to say 23 because I'm going to go with the canceled round. You're saying a 12 and 11's out there back to back? I yeah, agree with two. that. 12, 11? Yeah. So many eagles to get and stuff. But that same person that they played three rounds could have shot a six the last round, though. So I'm just saying that two rounds, they're going to get hot. <laughs> you know? Oh, my goodness. He's calling a canceled round 23 under. Good save. Thank All you. Right. I'm sticking with three round 26. Three round 30. They're going to call me Matty Domus at the end of this tournament. Hole 16, par 5, 969 feet. 
as open as it can possibly be off the tee, but yet that fairway can seem narrow when you got the wind that we've got right now. Try to play something out there wide or a very straight disc to get that thing to spike in the middle or just nestle in the middle. From there, the player has an option of trying to go for the green, which is gonna be blind and over 500 feet to a protected green that has an OB Creek in front of it. There are a bunch of trees as well, so you're gonna have to play that risk reward play, play for the easy par, I mean the easy birdie, give yourself an eagle look. You can also turn into a par or bogey if you get off the tee quick. <laughs> Shot. My knees. Thank you. Booyah. Perfect. How is this thing? Pretty good? It seems fine. I mean, it's dry though. Is that part of our T-pad too? No. Nah. Yeah, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Good shot. Nice. So yeah. A little faster. Yeah. I pulled it a little bit. I didn't want to be that close to that tree over there. Is that Z? Z nuke or is that? Yes, Z. Leaker, but should dig. Diggy. Heads up. That's fine. I'm gonna come right here. Dude, yeah. Paul. Paul, trust me on this. Those Nike Pegasus, the ones that I've been wearing a lot lately. Yeah. Monies. Love them. Love them. Okay. And they have sick colorways. Like the most beloved. These were like 190 bucks. There's a headwind. Those were 190? Yeah. Somebody Well, they have like alcohol. I got them at Dick's. Yeah, that's why you went to Dick's to buy some. Well, I needed a pair of shoes because my other ones had ripped. Safe, Maddie? All day. What How the? do I find myself in a creek? Mm 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 mm. Looks like sunflower uh, seed you. butter. Slightly sweetened. Thank you, Back to Sage Turn Organics. Turn up, bud. That's a yummy treat. Oh, that's left. Oscar. Bravo. Bravo. Is that safe though? I don't know. I really didn't trust what I was about to do running downhill into that. It's not that bad at all, actually. I'm gonna throw one more. We missed that shot. Michael will get it. I think that's good. Nice. Oh my. No, that's going to be fine. Do I go low beamer? Skip? <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to go low beamer. I like how he threw a practice shot off the tee so he could learn what this disc does in this wind for his second oh. shot. Heck that's yeah. some next level thinking. It's a practice round. That's some next level thinking. I think it's good. But I think that's closer than we think Practicing. it is. Where'd you go, Matt? Um, somewhere over here. I don't know, third and two. Jeremy, I think you're way in there. No! Dang it! No chicken tonight, no nothing, <laughs> broke! What up, Ricky? Doing good. How about that freaking throw in last year? Not throw in, excuse me. The approach shot from Macbeth when he went out of bounds. The save, the par save that he had from 500 feet with his buzz, completely blind over the hill, almost scraping the top of the band. I mean, at this point, if you guys aren't showing that footage right now, what are you doing, editors?
got to be kidding me. Did you see that hit that little stupid branch? It was going right in the hole and it hit that branch hanging out. Ask you about famous cowboy players and where they went to college. All right. Troy Aikman. UCLA. Emmett Smith. Florida. Showtime. Florida State. Primetime, by the way. Primetime. I try to throw you off. Trick mm -hmm. question. Not a trick question. Steve Young didn't play for the Cowboys, but I want to see if you know that one. Had to ask for permission to play on Sundays. Hey, did I get screwed? Was that thing going in the hole? No. You said that, like, pretty confidently. It wasn't. Okay. I don't know, man. BYU. BYU. All right. Gosh, I think I'm certain about that. So I went one, two, three, four. This is for five. Matty-o, folks. That's, That's crazy. Cool. You can take your lot backwards so you can get a jump putt. That's wild. I mean. Look at you. My, my Alabama education is going up. My high school education is going up. Oh. <gasps> Wow. Really thought a six would hurt me. What do we all get? I got a six. I got a six. I got a five. You got a five. A hole that can be eagled, birdied, parred, bogeyed, double bogeyed, triple bogeyed. Hole 17, par 3, 287. This is a good change. Last year we had that windy little luck festival. This year you can actually throw a shot and land it soft on the green. That's all that the players wanted. Let's see if we can do that. Man, what do we do from here? I've never tried this. A little windy green, 287. Windy green? All right, you know what I think here? What you think, Matteo? All right. Six, eight, and hard 10, I'm taking. Ten. Ten. Be safe, all right. What just happened? He's calling this hole lucky, dude. He's rolling the dice. Be safe, play. Oh, be stable. That's or safe. just keep turning. That's safe. Oh, that's actually probably money now. I think it went in a drink. I hope so. Yeah, I'm going to roll for you. All right, what's up? What's, what's your number? Three. Uh, seven. And... Yeah, 11? three. Eleven? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Six. Ooh, boy. Mm. Is that bad? Chips. Not good. I mean, Dice never lie. I trust them, their measurement, but I'm going to give us a little double check. I might throw the key here, maybe even. Ooh. Smart. What's your number, really? Smart play. Uh, let's go with eight mm. and fours. Eight, ten, fours? Uh-oh. This is going straight in the hole. Go. Sit. I got it. The dice don't lie. Jerm, did you throw your disc you needed for this shot? I I did, in fact, throw the disc I needed for this shot ball. Figured. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I can make do. Second and 17. Yeah, this is, this is a hard first down. This is so touchy. All right, show them what you got. Might be safe. That's not good. <laughs> you think? Yeah, like cut out, literally. <laughs> and rolled back in on this side, and then, man, it rolled out. <sighs> Thank you, the lefty, yeah. I might be safe, actually. Because I went over this. I can't believe that, that right? didn't go in. I think yours is wow, uh, one. Like, yeah. What I did wrong. I talking about this other, other one. Whoo! <gasps> Money. Good putt. Thank you. I aim center. What do you know? Nice. Nice shoot, Matteo. You too. Back now, at least. Came alive. Yeah, you did. I was just getting the high five. Thanks for joining us. Paul, thank you all for letting me here. Yeah. Thanks for yeah, talking football, awesome. man.
Here on the final hole of the Idlewild Disc Golf Course, we got the 650 foot par four. I think this is the hardest hole on the course, especially being the last hole where there's a little nerve so you might get a little aggressive. You definitely either wanna go fairway to the, get a little more distance or mid range, just to put yourself in the middle. Second shot either requires just to get through the tunnel sidearm or another layup. And the third shot's kind of a low, big Christmas tree in front of the basket you wanna get under. Tough finishing hole. Tiger Woods two iron stinger. Let's see. It's just all sports references. That's all it is, and I love it. It left. True, true or false? The greatest Alabama football team of all time could beat the worst NFL team of all time. Yeah, I think so. On, on their best day and on the NFL team's worst day. What was that Lions team about five years ago? They were pretty pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They went over, didn't they? You serious? <gasps> I deserve that. 28-3. Oh, my God. I got this play from Paul last year. He told me, just throw your AVRX 3 off the tee. Yeah, I might go See if it's wise there. advice. Let me see that thing. It's like a toy. Keep <laughs> this. Don't touch my stuff ever again, man. Yeah. I'll show you toy. See, I remember when I was a kid, if you had like a green or a purple cyclone, you knew you were pro. Like, oh, sh that dude's got a green cyclone? Oh, he's good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, that turned into the red T-Rexes. Red, yeah, red T-L. Red star, yeah. Eight time rock, I think. Anything star phase. had to be that, that like blood red color. I would say eight time rock was the next step. Like if you had an eight time yeah, rock that was in your before, bag, yeah. you probably were the sh Yep. And then it went to C-E-T-Ls and, and then it went to uh, red T-Rexes. Red T-Rexes were like. 2006, <laughs> seven. When Discraft asked me to join the team, I was like, Whoa. I hadn't won a, I hadn't won an amateur tournament yet, so I was like, of course, like over the moon. Mm -hmm. What have I done to deserve this? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. But then I was like, they ain't got a red T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a little bit of a problem for me. And then they came out with the force right afterwards, and I was like, okay, we're good. But that was the disc of the uh, the times, man. Mm -hmm. Especially when Dave Dave Felberg could throw the hell out of a red T Rex. I, I had to have hit a tree because I was. I was gonna be in the middle of fairway. Nice shot. Nice shot. Thanks. That's a good disc. I don't know what you guys are talk talking about. What we're falcon about? What are you talking about? Smoked. Lift. Witch's finger. Get what the hell, man. What'd I hit? Hit that little branchy branch. That was like as good as I've ever thrown a shot. Ooh. Damn, I just got worked on this hole. Yeah, that's helpful for my 20 bucks right there. That spot. <laughs> I'm gonna probably have to throw it in on the third. You're gonna have to Conrad me? Yes. I thought I was gonna be down here on the hill. <clears throat> Hit. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah. Oh, get it up. That was the right shape. You can throw it in from there. I just gotta get a par and I make uh, 40 bucks off you guys. I might have to go try to my life here. Hmm? From Cambogia. Maddie, you still got that Jeter jersey? So he had the Rod, A Rod jersey. He's somewhere. Oh, in the A Rod? House. That's probably the biggest, baggiest jersey I've ever seen anyone wear before you know, in my life. You it's weird. When we're younger, we always go baggier. The older we get, it goes shorter and shorter and shorter. Why is that? Do you know Mr. Mr. Disc Golf, the guy from Pennsylvania, I think it is? The one that plays everywhere? He's got like a smiley face for his logo. He's got a, he had a Philadelphia Phillies jersey, and I saw Brad Hammond put it on. Salty? Yeah, well, uh, maybe salty. I don't know, salt. Well, yeah, yeah, Mike Salt. It is, huh? Mike Salt, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Mike Salt had a, had a Philadelphia right Phillies jersey Thorpe. that, that uh, Brad Hammock put on. It uh, looked like he no was more. wearing, it was a bit baggier than what you had on. I mean, 
one of the feistiest disc golfers of all time, five-time Masters World Champion. One of the guys that probably would have been a world champion if Ken Clamo didn't have his supreme reign in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Pound per pound, the best disc golfer of all time, he would say. Yeah, I would, I'd have to agree with that. Monogu's up there. Oh, nowhere near Hammock. <laughs> no, nah, just as far as, but he's lighter. That's the only thing I had. I mean, I had the right cut. idea. I was trying to go big backwards. Yep. <laughs> Win! Do oh, I got a throwing up? Sweet. I've loved every single shot I've thrown in this hole, and I'm yeah. about to take a bogey. This is stupid. Hey, stupid. Do you think I can fit a putt under there or do I have to air bounce it? You ain't, well, you, you do have like a fast guy mean putt. What now. do you think, Matt? I think air bounce for the street cred. How about I'll do one and then the other? Which oh. one are you taking first? Well, I, I'm gonna try to make it with the putt. All right, that's good for us. <clears throat> it's ballsy for him to not even mark it. Now I air bounces. Oh, I didn't even air bounce. Hey, let me show you the shot. Let me show you the shot. Yeah, do it. All right. Excuse me, guys. Playing a little practice around here. <laughs> wow. Honestly, just as effective. Good. Yeah. <laughs> just as effective. Oh my That's God. That's that Orange Beach, Alabama shot. <laughs> Beat shot. Mm, beautiful putt. Tom Brady spiral. Thank you. Beautiful putt. Easy par, dude. Yeah, out. easy. Hold Just up. never had to work hard for that one. He oh. three wasn't bad today. Woo! What Bruce a day! Chris. What um, a day! What is it, Riz Chris? Roos Chris. Roos Chris? What is that, a restaurant or something? Uh, only the holiest of the holy restaurant. <laughs> it's the only place in history where everything on the menu is delicious. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> it's gonna wrap it up here for the mic'd up practice round, edition number 38. Uh, it's hot, it's humid, it's wet, it's yeah. muggy. Dude, that rain on us, really. That was, I was pretty happy about yeah, that. Yeah, that, that was really yeah, nice. for sure was not looking good this morning. We had lightning everywhere. Man, another rain delay. But we got through it. Paul Uliberry is today's champion at three under? Four. Four under, you saved at the par? No, I bogeyed it. You were at five? Yeah. Oh, well how about that? Boom. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. So, you finish that? Two. Well, two down. Two down, and I finished at two down as well. So nobody goes home with any money because nobody really filled the requirements, fulfilled the requirements of the 2020. It's unfortunate for Paul. He could have had a nice Ruth's Chris Steakhouse dinner tonight, but that's not going to happen. We're going to push that over to the next tour event at Delaware coming up in a couple of weeks. But this event is the one we're concerned about right now. We've got three Disc Golf Pro Tours remaining this season. Points are so crucial right now. They always are, but it really feels more important right now. Give me my 20 bucks. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I'm giving 20. We're all jockeying for position right now, trying to get into that top 16, top eight, so on and so forth. Top 24. <laughs> top 24 is kind of where I'm at right now as well. But uh, it's going to be an exciting tournament. All the coverage will start this Saturday. You know where, Jonas Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the Founders Club. And of course, thank you, Maddie for thank joining us today. Thank you for letting yeah, me come along. Awesome. Boom. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Tom Brady spirals. See y'all next time.